This is a short demonstration of uh, adding the iNet Workflow Manager to an application. So here we have a normal standard notes application with a basic form in it, uh, and we're going to add the Workflow Manager to this. So we go over to the Workflow Manager and choose one of the administration views, uh, and then copy replace Workflow Design. We'll choose the uh, application that we want to add it to, which is this one, and add the Workflow Elements, which is now finished. <coughs> We then switch back to our application uh, and to change design mode, we'll edit the main document and add a couple of subforms from the workflow manager. So the workflow field top subform goes at the top, and the workflow field's bottom subform goes down the bottom. So that's all we need to do to change the design of the application. Now what we need to do is uh, add some workflow documents. So we'll switch to the uh, workflow documents view, which we've just added, into the workflow steps view. And we'll create the first step being to uh, check a field. So we'll check the field uh, cost. And we'll say if it's uh, less than or equals 100, we will allocate the document to the director field, which we will uh, have to complete. We'll change the status then to uh, with director. Uh, and then after that, we'll check another field in, in terms of the director's approval. So we'll check the field approval. Uh, we'll say a field approval equals approved. Then we'll allocate the document back to the uh, original person. with the status of approved. So at the top here you can see the steps it's taking to uh, get to where we are now. Uh, that's all we'll do for that particular step. If the director, for example, was to say uh, it's declined, then we'll just change the status to say declined. We'll save and close that. Before we save and close this document, what we can also do is set the submit button. So if we click uh, default submit buttons, um, you know, these are the buttons that the director will see. So it's a simple way of doing that. So uh, this is our step allocating to the director. We'll save and close that. Uh, lastly, what we'll do is we'll say the cost is anything other than less than 100. And we can say it's greater than or we can say anything else. In this case, we'll say uh, equals other. In other words, something else. Then we'll change the status to say uh, too expensive. And that's our workflow. So that's uh, been created in Notes Documents here. By selecting the documents, you can see the relationship between them. So now if we switch back to our uh, actual purchase, we can try that out. So if we select New Purchase, we can say the purchase is for a car. It's for uh, over $1,000. And we'll try Submit. The workflow has been executed. It says that's too expensive. So we can go back and change it. Here we can say, do you wish to submit, submit the document? Yes or no? We'll say no. We'll change that to $11 and uh, call it a toy car. In this case, it's now saying, do you want to submit this to the director for approval? We'll say yes. You get an optional email here, which you can choose to show or hide. You can choose the content of the email, etc. And so our document is now with the director. The director now has the option to approve it or decline it, according to the buttons that we saw earlier. Uh, and there's some additional buttons you can include as well. If he was to say approved, the status changes to approved, the director can submit it, and it goes back to the person who, uh, who requested it. So that's our workflow completed and uh, up and running in a couple of minutes. Now this also works in X pages. So for example, this is an X pages uh, home page. We can do the same thing here. So we can create a document using X pages. If I make myself the, uh, the manager and director, change it to car 2, change it to $22 and submit that. Then you can see that this is our new document. It's gone through the same approval cycle. It's with the director. So that's a simple example of adding a workflow to a notes database uh, very quickly using documents uh, and displaying the results in the notes client and X pages as well.